Howdy folks and welcome to um, just a short video about inventory space, ESO Plus and uh, looting chests and nodes. Now on my adventures in uh, Rivenspire today I have noticed a message in the zone chat um, saying that people who don't loot uh, nodes, like all of them, uh, all of the stuff that's inside, for example, there can be like ochre or uh, worms in plants and that kind of stuff, or people who don't loot all the stuff from, from chests are not the quote-unquote real gamers. Now... I understand people feeling uh, angry about this because you see a node, uh, you run to it and you find, let's say, worms instead of ancestor silk and worms. Or you find a chest and there's a uh, rubidite axe of frost and uh, a glyph of stamina, right? But... The issue I have with this is that people mostly feel angry about this because they think those chests or nodes will not respawn unless you loot everything that's inside, which is not true. Once you've interacted with a chest or a, a node, like harvesting no crafting node, uh, for example, ancestor silk, rubidite or anything, a timer will start and regardless of if you've looted all that's inside the node or a chest the timer when it expires a new chest or a new node will reappear so if you don't loot everything the chest will stay there for a certain period of time I'm not sure exactly what the timer is or if uh, it's the same for everything, like all the chests and all the nodes. But if you don't loot everything from a chest, the chest will stay there. And after, let's say the timer is 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, everything will, the, the old stuff will disappear from the chest and new stuff will appear. Now, I have tested this myself because uh, I had an argument with uh, someone a long long time ago about this and I'm pretty sure I found a developer post either on the forums or reddit or somewhere it was ages ago maybe a year or two I don't know and the developer has stated the same thing like there is a timer and the timer is independent on people looting the chests like fully all of the the stuff or not so i tested this i found the chest it was very early in the morning like three four uh, in the morning there was no one around so i opened the chest took one thing out and uh, i just stood there for like 15 or 20 minutes and after, again, 15 or 20 minutes, I opened the chests. Ta-da! Brand new stuff was in it. And the same, um, I tested it with the, the crafting notes. So, like I said, I understand why people are angry about um, running to a chest, hoping for a Infernal Staff of Mother Sorrow or something like that and finding uh, rubidite griefs of magicka or s something like that but it's uh, the 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 timer is there and it doesn't matter if you loot all the chests or uh, uh, the node will respawn now people also have issue with the fact that people don't loot everything because they waste their time now, if you see a chest in the distance, you run to it, you spend some time running towards the chest because you were going east and all of a sudden you see a chest uh, west 
so you stop running east and you start running west and you get to the chest and you spend like i don't know 10 20 15 seconds by running to the chest opening it and only finding rubenite griefs of magicka i know it's a waste of time but there are people i have friends who don't have eso plus i don't have this issue because majority of time that i play i do have eso plus there are there there were certain periods of time when i didn't uh have the eso plus because i it was a form of protest from my side i wasn't happy with the game uh and the state it was in so i just i just unsubscribed and when they improved the game i sub subscribed again so there are people who just either cannot afford it or don't want to afford it they see it as a waste because let's face it um it's um, if i'm not mistaken it's around nine pounds british uh per month so that's 120 pounds almost per year and for 120 pounds uh, you can once a year take your wife uh, to a nice restaurant spend a beautiful night out in the city just have fun instead of putting it in the game and the problem with not having ESO plus is you don't have craft bag everything stacks in hundreds for example materials if you have craft bag you have stacks of 200 say ancestor silk but if you don't have a craft bag everything stacks in hundreds so 100 ancestor silk stacks and if you don't have a merchant like this merchant assistant right this one you may find that if you venture outside and uh, pick up notes and chests you can find them literally like every 10 20 seconds you can find a node or a chest right and if you loot everything the worms will not uh, go to craft bag they will stay in your inventory your bank has only half the space compared to eso plus so you you can put like instead of 200 or um, I don't know what the max uh, limit uh, for a bank is. Uh, you can only put, let's say, uh, it's 200 or 300. You can only put uh, 150 in your bank. Because everything is tied to the ESO Plus. So you have more stacks of materials. You don't have merchant to sell stuff as you walk around Tamriel. So by looting everything your inventory will get cluttered extremely fast now what you can do is either go to the nearest merchant like nearest town or a village find a merchant and sell it or delete the stuff and people argue that you just can delete it right but that takes time i know it's just mere seconds but if you, for example, pick 50 nodes and uh, 20 chests on your journeys, you will have a lot of stuff to delete. A lot. Like, um, let's say, right, I've been adventuring. This is the stuff that I... Some of this is from chests. And, like, let's say half of it is from, like, killing mobs, and half of it is from chests so i would have to spend the time to manually delete every single one of these items this applies to this as well right consumables cloudy damage health poison ravage health these are just from chests or mobs right or like silly stuff like uh, s low level glyphs and that kind of stuff right those are all in chests 
and if you loot it all now i would have to spend like a minute or two just by click this delete click this delete 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 and that takes time so it's not an, a good argument it's it's an argument but not a good one then it just takes a couple of seconds to delete the item that's one item right but if you don't do it immediately after you open the chest it takes a lot of time for example i would have to spend like for example half a minute a minute to delete the stuff that i have currently so people who argue that it's just just delete the stuff want you to waste your time by deleting the stuff that you have in your inventory or running to a merchant and selling it so they could save their time you know running to the chests and find it half empty and i understand that this may uh, sound like uh, a rude right and and you know like um I loot everything from chests just to 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 mention this up front but i do understand people who leave stuff behind because it, they will simply either waste their time or they will not be able to pick up loot from from stuff uh from chests or mobs later on because their inventory will be full now people call this behavior selfish because you are wasting their time they don't think about that if you loot all the stuff you will have to waste your time and i just want to mention that this is a video game nobody is entitled to anything it may seem rude to leave stuff behind and, and waste somebody else's time but on the other hand like i said you have to understand that these people want to save their time. Now, um, again, this is a video game. The, the, the motto of this game is play how you want. And these people play how they want not all of them people who leave stuff behind uh don't have craft bag or a, or a bank space or the problems or issues with their inventory i understand that but nobody owes you anything in this game you are not entitled to anything in this game so it's easy to get angry about all this but i and let's face it i myself don't like it right i see a chest like i said i'm hoping for the inferno staff of mother sorrow or something similar i go to the chest and i find uh, a silly glyph in there i don't like it that's why i don't do it but i do understand why some people do it and i fully accept their decisions because not everyone uh, can put money into a video game because there was one comment uh, from uh, some person in the chat. Um, like, imagine being so poor you cannot afford the SO+. Plus. It's not about that. But if you look at the, the world today, almost everything is built upon subscription. You have Netflix. You have Amazon+. Plus. You have a mobile phone, right? You have your gym membership. You have maybe a movie membership, right? The cinema kind of membership thing. You have membership here, membership there, membership there. And those things are, I would say, more important. Like a gym membership is more important than a video game membership, if I'm being honest, right? So everything is based like almost everything a lot of stuff in real life is based on subscription and eso plus just adds another subscription to this whole subscription thing so i fully understand why people just don't pay any money 
for a video game, especially if it's like recurring payment, like every month. So this is just my two cents. Um, again, I don't like it. I don't do it. But I understand, I perfectly understand why people are doing it. So I will thank you guys for watching for now. And I will see you next time.